Why do we get fat? This is a really important question that nobody asks because we already think we know the answer. It's about calories, but that's all wrong. If you want a deeper dive, you can also check out my book, The Obesity Code, and the follow-up, The Hunger Code. So this is the energy balance equation, which we know is true. Body fat, which is just a way of storing calories, equals calories in, which is what we eat, and calories out, which we consider to be exercise. And because what we eat and exercise are personal choices, we say that causes the increase in body fat. However, in the first part of our video, we explain why that's all wrong. And in fact, the arrow of causality actually runs this way. That is to say that something causes us to want to store more fat and this drives us to either eat more or burn less. Well, you think these are personal choices, but that's all wrong because why do we eat? Well, it's because we're hungry. And we stop eating when we're full which is satiety. So these are not things that you choose. If you're hungry, you're going to eat more. That's just the way it is. So it is not choice that causes this. And on the calories outside, it's almost all about basal metabolic rate, which is the number of calories that you burn for regular metabolism, including generation of body heat, your heart, your liver, your lungs, your brain, all of that takes energy. And these are things that will cause it. So then when you ask yourself, hey, what is it that raises your body fat rate? Because this is what's going to drive you to eat more or burn less, which is going to cause that increase in weight. Well, it turns out there's a number of reasons. In the 1940s, they had already discovered that this is what causes it. What they did was they took experiments, which they took a rat, and they simply uh, little, caused little lesions in their brain. When they caused the lesion in the part of the brain called the ventromedial hypothalamus, which is very close to the satiety center called the arcuate nucleus, these rats gained massive amounts of weight. This is the brain lesion, which is caused by electrocution, which caused them to gain weight. How did they gain that weight? Well, when you cause that brain damage, the body got the signal to gain more body fat, which caused the rat to be very hungry and not be able to uh, satiate itself. If you control how much it eats, then simply the rat will decrease its basal metabolic rate and it will still gain the weight. So lesions in the brain cause the obesity, which causes the calories in, calories out to be adjusted so that they gain weight. But the problem is not calories. The problem is the brain lesion. And if you injured a different part of the brain called the lateral hypothalamus, these mice would lose weight. So you drop the body fat and therefore the uh, rat became not hungry. It was so full it couldn't eat and it lost weight. So therefore the weight loss was also caused by the brain lesion. In fact, how much body fat it carries is regulated very similar to a thermostat. That is, something will raise the thermostat so that your body wants to gain more weight, other things will lower it. And we know in a medical disease called Prader-Willi syndrome that these people are predisposed to gain weight and nothing you do is going to stop them from gaining that weight. If you want to ask the question of what causes the weight gain, insulin is simply a nutrient sensor. What it does is it tells you that food is coming in. And there's two major roles of insulin. One is so that your body stores energy. Your body can store energy in two ways, either 
as sugar or as fat. Those are the two ways in which, in which it stores energy. When insulin goes up, your body is going to store sugar in the form of glycogen, which is long chains of sugar. When the storage of sugar is full, then your body is going to store it as fat. And that's all it is. It's the calories stored. And that's going to lead to an increase in sugar, which is type 2 diabetes, or it's going to cause the increase in fat, which is obesity. How are you going to take care of this problem? Well, you have to let insulin levels fall. And when they fall, then you're going to burn the sugar and burn the fat. So high insulin levels are going to block lipolysis. It's going to block fat burning because you're trying to store it. So the higher your insulin levels are, the higher you're going to push up this body fat thermostat. As you push up the body fat thermostat, what happens is that you are going to get hungry or you're going to not be able to get full both of which are going to create changes in your eating behavior such that you eat more. So the amount that you eat is not simply willpower, it's controlled by hormones. Your, your insulin is telling you that you need to go eat more so that you can store more. That's the signal you're giving it. So what if you simply control the number of calories? You drop the number of calories because you're trying to lose weight. Well, you're hungry. Okay, but you take care of that because you have a lot of willpower. Well, your body says, well, because of the insulin, I still need to gain body fat, but I'm not getting any more calories in. What's gonna, what am I going to do? Simple. You're going to decrease the basal metabolic rate. You're going to burn fewer and fewer calories so that you can counteract this and still have an increase in your body fat. And in fact, virtually every single scientific study of weight loss has shown precisely this effect that when you're trying to reduce body fat, if you don't take care of the insulin, if you simply count calories, yes, you'll get hungry, but you can white knuckle it and you can use willpower to overcome it and still reduce your calories in but your basal metabolic rate goes down. I've seen people who have measured their basal metabolic rate and it was 1200 calories a day. So they decide I'm going to eat 1000 calories a day. They're eating virtually nothing because they've been told that if you simply eat fewer calories, you will lose weight. You know what? They didn't lose weight. Why? because they were eating all the time. They were eating a lot of uh, refined carbohydrates. Their insulin levels were still super high. They weren't fasting. And when we measured their basal metabolic rate again, it went down to 800 calories. So here these poor people were taking a thousand calories a day, hungry all the time. They're, they're burning so few calories that they're freezing cold all the time. They have no energy. They feel like crap. And worse, they're still gaining body fat. Why? Because the insulin was telling it to gain body fat. Obesity is not caused by calories in, calories out. Remember, go back to part one if you don't understand that argument. In fact, something causes the increase in body fat, this increase in the body fat thermostat, which causes you through hunger and satiety and through metabolic rate to gain or lose the weight that it was told to do. It's no different than your thermostat in your room. When you crank it up, your heater will go on. Well, if you open the door and let all the hot air out, well, it's just going to crank it up even more. If it's hot outside and you open the window and the heat's coming in, then it's going to crank up the air conditioning. So either way, it's the control of this body fat that is the crucial, crucial effect. How are you going to crack the obesity code? Well, it's about controlling insulin. Different foods cause different rises in insulin. But don't overcomplicate things. Insulin tells your body to store calories. 
If insulin is too high, you're going to gain weight. How do we know this? Well, I can simply give people insulin. Every time I prescribe insulin, people gain weight. When you give drugs that cause insulin to go down, such as the SGLT2s or the GLP1s, guess what? People lose weight. It wasn't about the calories. Remember that calories has nothing to do with me giving insulin or giving other drugs. It has everything to do with the hormones, the most important of which is insulin. Again, if you want to learn more, you can look at the obesity code or the hunger code. Both will explain it in much more detail.